everybody. My name is Monique Cucci. I'm an illustrator and multidisciplinary designer with a love of Halloween, cross-hatching, and brutal honesty. Crooked and Beautiful is my cabinet of curiosities, online shop, and blog. I'm so excited to be here today, kind of drop you into my world, teach you a little bit about who I am, what I do, how I do it. Um, a little bit about me first, I actually spent most of my childhood drawing. Um, took a lot of art classes as a kid and all throughout high school. Um, and then I studied graphic design and costume design in college. Um, after that, for about 10 years, I spent doing all kinds of design work, print companies, publication companies, web design, application design, financial technology design. And then most excitingly, at the end of July, I finally quit my full-time job to pursue illustration full-time which has been a passion of mine for a really long time and something that I've been looking forward to for years. Um, I'm so excited to be able to share this with you now, only a few short months later, especially leading up to my favorite time of year, Halloween and uh, the holiday season after that. So please stop on by my shop, crookedandbeautiful.com, um, and I hope you find something you love for yourself or one of your loved ones. Um, I wanna take you on a little bit of a studio tour today kind of show you around my space and uh, kind of introduce you to my world a bit. So sit back, relax, and come along with me for a little bit. Welcome to my studio slash living room slash dining room. Come on in. So right here you see two very important assistants. The guy up there on the couch is named Pika, and the lady on the floor is Pixel. Uh, they really like helping me with all the things that I do, whether or not I ask for their assistance. You will notice all of my fun Halloween decorations as well. Um, I would love to tell you that I put them away when it's not Halloween time, but guess what? I don't because Halloween should happen all year in my opinion. So I just keep them up. So they're all year round decorations. Here's my cool gallery wall. Um, most of these are my illustrations, the square ones and the one with all the eyes there in the middle. Uh, this piece right above the eyes is my New Year's resolutions for the year. And this piece is from a, uh, a poster collection that I bought from Borders of all places. So is this bookshelf. When Borders was going out of business, they were getting rid of all of the stuff inside their stores. So I bought a Borders bookshelf. Let me take you down here to the floor for a moment. This is some printing work for some commissions that I was doing last month. Um, I got the chance to do a really cool 10th anniversary wedding gift commission uh, for somebody that I used to work with. So what you're seeing here, these smaller pieces are actually um, color test prints on smaller, cheaper paper just to make sure that I was getting the color balance right. I created this piece digitally, so you always have to play around with color when you print it a little bit. That's what these guys were for. And then, then I installed my large canvas roll paper for the first time. Hence this really sad test print that I messed up several times. Um, I installed the big cool canvas paper and got this. This was actually a misprint. You'll notice that it's a little too far to the left because um, it wasn't quite lined up properly. But I love this paper. Um, I guess you can't even call it paper. It is canvas. Yeah, there we go. We've, we've kind of focused on there now. Uh, this canvas is really nice. Um, it is a little bit glossy. You might be able to see. Yeah, you can see. It has a really nice texture, but the color quality, the resolution, um, I was really impressed with it. Um, so this is how I print my larger format prints. And because my studio space is so tiny, if you look under my desk, that is where that printer lives. Uh, so I get to stub my toes on it all the time, which is really fun. And then here's the desk. This is where I do my work. Or sometimes I'll do it while sitting on the couch or at the dining room table as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's small, it's cozy, but it does the job, and I really like it. Um, you'll also notice over here on the bookshelves, in addition to lots of book books, I have a whole shelf of sketchbooks, a whole shelf of notebooks, a shelf of art supplies. We got a lot of 
colored pencils in here, pastels, um, some markers, and then I'm a huge Blackwing fan, so I have several different volumes of Blackwing pencils, um, like more than I care to admit, if I'm honest. And then down here is the Crooked and Beautiful order fulfillment shelf. We have our packing materials, we have our papers of varying kinds, packing tapes, and then the rigid mailers and mailing tubes that the prints go in. So that is it. I'm going to take you on a desk tour now just to kind of show you a little bit about my process and some of my illustrations. So come on over to the desk. It's just too late. Welcome to my desk. I do the majority of my client work and commission work here digitally in Procreate. Um, it's, you know, a lot faster to be able to build things in layers. Um, having an undo button is really nice. Um, and then you can play around with a bunch of different styles of coloring pieces as well. Um, generally, it always starts with a Oops, there we go, black and white sketch. Um, I am a person that draws by nature more than a person that paints. I did a little bit of painting in high school, but for the most part, I love to draw. I really like the way uh, drawing media works. I really like um, the control you get with lines and I like the look of it. Um, so then what I'll do is I'll start here and then I will add, um, I'll add color in the background. It's what I've been doing lately. It's been working for me, so I'm gonna stick to it. Um, I also wanted to show you some traditional pieces as well because I do really like working traditionally too. Um, and I participate in the Inktober challenges every year. Inktober, for those who don't know, um, was started by an illustrator named Jake Parker um, as a way to get people to uh, get into a drawing habit. So um, the idea is to pink, pick up some ink tools, whatever it is, ballpoint pen, uh, fine liners, whatever you want in ink um, and just draw something every single day. They give you a prompt list. This year they're doing Inktober 52. They're trying to do one prompt every week just to kind of get people doing it all year long. Um, I participate in these challenges when I have time. I think they're super fun. I really love drawing in ink. Um, this is, all of this work is done with Copic Multiliners, which I will show you here. These Copic Multiliners. Um, they come in a variety of sizes. I think I got a pack of eight or ten of them. They come in a variety of sizes. Um, they are not cheap, but you can replace the nibs and you can replace the ink inside. So uh, once you buy the pen itself, then you just, you know, you replace the pieces that go bad. Um, it's a little bit more of an investment. And then sometimes, and I'll show you a piece where I use that a little bit more obviously, sometimes I'll actually apply some background tone with these Copic sketch markers. And they come in a variety of grays. Um, I have those as well. They're really fun and you can build them nicely um, and they have a really good quality to them. So I really like using these. All of this is relatively new. I've only had these for the last couple of months. So um, I've been using them in more recent work, but I also really love working in ballpoint pen and there's a lot of that in this sketchbook here. Um, last year's Inktober throughout the month of October uh, was done almost exclusively in ballpoint pen. This is all ballpoint pen for instance. And then sometimes what I'll do is I'll go in, I'll scan this piece um, just to kind of preserve the nice quality of the ink drawing and then I will scan it and print it out again and then start playing around with colored pencil um, just to add a little bit of tone. Um, without necessarily ruining the integrity of the original piece. So uh, this is just some of the ways that I like to work. Um, again, all drawing, not too much painting. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I really like it. I dig it. Thanks for hanging out today. I love showing you around the studio, teaching you a little bit about how I do what I do. Hopefully you learned something. Um, please feel free to stop by my shop, crookedandbeautiful.com or you can check out my illustration portfolio at moniquecucci.com or follow me on Instagram at Crooked and Beautiful. Always posting process videos, sketches, all kinds of stuff. Um, feel free to reach out, start a conversation. I'd love to connect. So thanks so much. Talk to you soon.